Hi readers, welcome back to our reading workshop lessons. So today we are starting our 14th lesson and our main focus for our nonfiction reading is today we will be selecting a topic that you wanna learn more about where you can become an expert and we're going to be gathering a collection of books on that one particular topic and today we're going to be doing previewing. So I know that um, in our classroom read aloud, what we've been uh, reading from was our Penguin book. But now I have picked a different type um, of nonfiction informational text that uh, we're going to work as a team that I'm going to show you with mine for my examples. And our new topic is actually going to be on frogs. So readers, I don't know if you if you realize this, but a lot of grownups um, they have interests in other areas than just what they do for work. So think about um, the grown-ups in your life and think about what they do for work for a minute. Okay, now I want you to think, that's not the only interest they have. A lot of grown-ups, they also have interest in um, certain uh, plants where sometimes they have interest in having gardens. Sometimes people have interest in different electronics. Uh, some people have interest in learning about cars. Some uh, grown-ups have interest in learning about different um, animals or a particular type of dog breed where then they even get to the point where they start having show dogs. So you don't have to wait until you're a grown-up to be an expert on a certain topic. If there's something that is really interesting to you, well, this is a great time to gather as much information as you can and become an expert on that. You don't have to wait until you're older to do something like that. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to be finding, maybe it's a topic you've been reading on, or maybe find a new topic that you have a lot of interest in, gathering different books, and um, coming up with some ideas of what you want to specifically learn about in that topic, in that area. So I want to show you exactly what we'll be doing. So like I told you, um, our new topic is going to be frogs. So I have three books here on frogs that I gathered. You'll see they're all different types, but having on a different assortment of books or text that we can reference is going to help teach us um, even more about this certain topic. Now, if you're using the Epic site um, for finding your books, that's great. You can still zoom in and focus on one topic, but finding several different books that go with that topic. I do recommend having at least three. You could have four books, five books, as many books as you need to learn more about your topic. But three is usually pretty much the minimum number because you want to have enough info to read from. So after you select your topic, then if you think back to one of our uh, previous lessons with our previewing, we learned the one boxes and bullets. Our next job would be to taking a plain sheet of paper. I'm going to use uh, just a plain colored piece and you're going to create a box and bullet on your topic. So for making my boxes and bullets, my in my box, I would have the word, what's my topic? Frogs. So that's what I'm gonna be putting at the top right here frogs okay then i need to think as a reader um as someone that's wanting to learn more about this certain topic what are my bullets going to be what are some of the facts that i want to learn more about and as i start thinking i'm thinking one thing i want to learn more about frogs is their life cycle so i'm going to do a bullet and i'm going to write down life cycle all right then i'm going to think what is another thing that i want to learn more about when it comes to frogs that I think I could find information out of these three books. Mm, I think they're homes, right? Okay, I'm gonna do another bullet. I could learn more about their babies, okay? Mm, what else could I learn more about that I wanna know more about frogs? Oh, their food. All right, I'm gonna write down food. I wanna learn more about the frogs when they're in water. Okay, I'm gonna add that to my list. What else do I want to learn more about frogs I could be an expert in? Mm, the types of frogs and the sizes of frogs. Okay, add that to my list. And also I wanna learn about when frogs are on land. So if you look at my boxes and bullets, I have my main idea of frogs and I listed in the bullet points all the different areas that I can think of right now that I want to research and learn about with this topic. 
Of course, there might be more that I come up with in a little bit, but here's my starting point. So we're going to use this now to preview our books. We know that in an informational text, what is usually at the very beginning of the book? A what? Table of contents, yes. And a table of contents usually gives us a little idea of what we're going to be reading about. Now, I don't know if you've noticed this yet, but sometimes table of contents are not um, perfectly worded where it says just food or babies. Sometimes they have craftier words that you kind of have to dig a little deeper. Sometimes you might have to flip through the book and see, oh, when they said splash, they were really talking about maybe the um, frogs going in water. Okay, so keep that in mind too. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to look at the table of contents and I'm going to think about my list and I'm going to see, are any of these ideas that I want to learn more about going to be in this book? So that's what I'm going to look at. And I see that one says right here, frog food, page 12. So if I go to page 12, I can learn about the food that frogs eat. And was that one of the things that I want to become more of an expert on? Yes, right here, food. So now I'm going to put a little check mark next to this area of food because that tells me I can find more research on food. All right, now let me go back to the table of contents once again. And I see on here it says frog babies. All right, and it said frog babies are on page 24. And sure enough, I could turn here and read all about frog babies. And that was another area on my list that I want to become an expert on, babies. So I'm going to put a check mark there. All right. Now, readers, I'm sure there's even more ideas in this book that I could find on this list, right? And you would take the time to do that. But I'm not, I don't want to take too much of your time right now. So now I'm going to go into my second book. All right. And I'm going to go to the table of contents which is right here. And I'm gonna read through this table of contents and see if any of these ideas also show up on the areas that I wanna learn more about. And then I'll put my check mark by them. So I see that they have, what is a life cycle right there? Well, that was one of the first, thing I, first things on here I wanna learn about is life cycle. So this is gonna be a great book that I can find information on life cycle. And I'm gonna put a check mark on my list. All right, another thing that I noticed in here is that they talk about frog food. Well, isn't that funny? In our last book, this one was gonna teach me about the food they eat, and this one's gonna teach me about the food they eat. So now on my checklist, I'm gonna put another check mark next to the word food, because now I have two resources that's going to teach me about frog food, awesome. All right, so let's see in the table of contents of this book, is there any other areas that this could teach me about frogs that I want to know more about? And I saw in the table of contents, it was titled Fascinating Frogs. And I'm noticing that Fascinating Frogs is really telling me about the types of frogs, which was one area right here that I wanted to learn about. So I'm gonna put another check mark because now using this book, I can learn about types of frogs. All right, and again, readers, you would continue by looking at the table of contents and finding all the other areas that you could um, help find your research for the areas that you have listed. Now, I am gonna quickly look through my third book that I have and look at my table of contents and see if any of these ideas also pop up on my list that I made of the areas I wanna learn about. And I actually noticed that the first thing that I can read about is in and out of water. Well, isn't that funny? Look at here. I wanted to learn about in water and on land. So there we go, right there. I'm gonna even learn more things about what I wanted to talk about. So check those off. As I'm looking at the table of contents though, I'm finding something that I don't have on my list that I think is rather interesting. And it is um, right here. Uh oh, I just lost it. It was 
Somebody, oh my goodness, where did it go? I just had it. Right, here it is. I don't have this on my list about their eyes, the bulging eyes. So as, as an informational reader, that's an area that I want to learn more about. That sounds rather interesting. So now on my list, I'm going to add a new bullet and I'm going to put the word eyes because that is going to be a really fun fact that I can learn more about, okay? So I know that in this book, I can read about eyes. And as we can see in the table of contents, it does talk more about their food right here. So yet again, I can learn about their food. It talks about their life cycle. So all of these things are showing up within my books. And I even found a new area that I'd like to read about. So now readers, what my job is going to be is now I have to decide using my list, what's the first area that I want to learn more about and do research on? And the first one that I want to learn about are the types and sizes of frogs. So then on your list, I want you to circle the one that you are most interested in starting your research on, which is mine is types and sizes. So now as a reader, today what I would do is I would go to my three books and I would just specifically read about the types of frogs there are and the sizes that they can be. And I probably would have a notebook and take a few notes along the way about the different types of frogs that I learn about. So readers, that's what you're going to do today is you're going to pick a topic, select at least three books around that topic, make your box and bullets of your topic and the areas that you want to learn more about, look through your books and see, do any of those books have these things that you can learn about? Place a check mark by them. Then at the very end, after going through your books and previewing them, then go ahead and circle the one area that you want to start reading more about and then read about that area today. All right, good luck with your reading and I hope that you find a really interesting topic and I will talk to you soon. Bye readers.